Psychology is the science of the human mind, how it works and why it works the way that it does. There are new discoveries every day about the human psyche, but what was the beginning of psychology? What theory started the snowball effect that bring us to where we are today? Today, I will be talking about Sigmund Freud, one of the most influential psychoanalysts of his time. First, I will be talking about his life. Next, I will delve into his theories. And third, I will be talking about the books he published during his career. To start with, Sigmund Freud was born May 6, 1856, in a town called Freiburg, Austria, which was also known as Czech Republic. He graduated the University of Vienna in 1881 with a degree in medicine and married Martha Bernays in 1882. Sigmund Freud had always considered himself a scientist rather than a doctor, which then began his journey to the research and understanding of the human knowledge. He began working with a man named Josef Buer, and with him, they used the method of having a patient talk about the symptoms that they were experiencing. This was based from the hypothesis that the human, the human experience, the trauma that they had, was rooted in their subconscious. Sigmund Freud had become more and more interested in neurosis and sexual origin, which ended the partnership between him and Josef Buer. In 1902, Sigmund Freud had become a professor in neuropathology at the University of Vienna. He held that post until 1938. He died by suicide of a lethal dose of morphine in 1939 after a long and torturous battle with his oral cancer. After finishing up about the life of Sigmund Freud, I will be going into the theories that he had established in his career. The first theory was the id, ego, and superego theory. Id was the primitive base personality, which geared aggression and the sexual urge. Ego was how the human had perceived the physical and social world around them. And superego was the moral compass that guided that ego. These three personality traits are what every person in the world had. Just those three base personality points. The next theory was psychic energy which correlates with the first theory I had talked about before, since id was the base source of that psychic energy. It was how it drove all of the mental processes. The next theory is dream analysis. Freud had believed every person had a reason to have dreams. It was how the body subconsciously dealt and explained trauma. The last theory I will be talking about is the Oedipus complex, which, based from Freud's theory of this, happened during the developmental stage of a child, approximately ages three to five. The child <clears throat> is sexually attracted to the parent of the opposite age while in competition with the parent of that same age. Finishing up the theories of Sigmund Freud, I will be going on into the books that he had published during his time. The first book that he published was in 1895 with Josef Buer. This book was published and written about the findings that him and Josef Buer had found through their experimentation of the method that each patient should talk about the symptoms that they experience. If they talked about it, it helped the psychoanalyst get rid of the neurosis. The second book was published in 1900, which is the interpretation of dreams. Sigmund Freud wrote 
this in the ins to give more insight of the workings of the unconscious mind. It was written after his serious period of self-analysis. The third book is The Psychopathology of Everyday Life. It was written in the year 1901. This book was developed, had developed the phrase Freudman, Freud, Freud and Slip, which is known as a misapplication of weird words and everyday use of it. The last book written by the psychoanalyst Sigmund Freud was the three essays of the theory of sexuality. Freud believed that sex drives the human instinct. It was the last work of sexual development and the relationship with that and social behavior. But the study did not include the theory of Oedipus complex. In conclusion, I spoke about the life the Sigmund Freud lived. I then spoke about the theories that he came up with in his career. And last, I went into detail about the books that he had written in his time. Psychology delves into the mind and how it works, how a person thinks and feels based on the experiences and the world around them. Sigmund Freud was one of the most impactful psychoanalysts of his time no matter the thoughts of the masses and the community itself. He is a man hard to forget.